What's up video creator, it's videomark.net. I've got something very special for you today. I had done a tutorial the other day, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, where I demonstrated how I created my intro tutorial. In that intro tutorial, you see this 3D mouse cursor hand pointer coming into the screen and clicking the logo. And I had demonstrated how to create that. I wanted to do a dedicated tutorial about that because it's at the end of the video. And the special thing is you get this project file for free to download. Just head over to the description and click the link and then the download button in the blog post on my website. This is free to download. I don't want anything. I don't want your email. This is completely free. Download it and do whatever you want, okay? And the special thing about this is this is created completely in After Effects. No plugin, nothing. If you don't have any plugins, no worries. You can bring this into your After Effects and start animating this. I set it up the way that you have two compositions, one hand and one pointer. And within those compositions, it says controller animate this, which is actually the controller for the whole thing to animate. And it's again, it's completely 3D. I'm going to show you how to create this if you're interested in a bit. I mean, do me a favor. Don't just bounce and download the link. It's not running. It's not going anywhere. You would do me a huge favor if you watched this video all the way to the end so I can gather some watch time and YouTube really, really hates people bouncing right away from the videos, which unfortunately is the case with my videos because I'm answering questions. And once people find out how it's done, boom, they're gone. Okay. Or once they get the template, they're gone. So it would be amazing and very supportive if you could watch this all the way through. And yeah, so here's the hand. You can find these graphics all over the internet. This is nothing special. It's so easy to find. Just Google mouse pointer or hand, mouse, hand, icon or something, then this, this thing will come up. Actually, once you know how it's done, it's pretty easy. So head over to your pen tool, click the pen tool. We're gonna, we wanna trace this and create a path that we then can extrude in After Effects natively. So I'm gonna trace this real quick. I'm gonna hold the shift key to restrict to the horizontal and vertical axis. And I will speed this up. The halfway through, you will have to maybe decrease the transparency of this shape so you can actually see what's going on when it's overlapping. But other than that, I'm gonna uh, speed this up so this doesn't get too long, okay? So let's start clicking through this graphic here like this, and I'm holding the shift key. As you can see, it will restrict horizontal and vertical movements. So it's perfectly straight. And let me speed this up from here. All right, we're done with the shape. As you've seen, I have halfway through this tracing, I decreased the opacity to 20% so I can actually see what's going on and then set it back to 100%. So once we're done with this, we want to head over to the composition settings and head over to the 3D render tab and set it to Cinema 4D. Once that's done, we want to set both layers to 3D and then you should have this geometry options available in the shape graphic, we want to set the extrusion depth to 150. You don't see anything just yet because we're looking at it from the from the front. So here on the right side, set set it to two views and the perspective to left. And then we will look at this from the left side. And then here you, see, you can see the thickness of the shape graphic. Now we want to move this hand graphic just a little bit. So it's on top of the shape graphic and we'll give it this texture zoom in a little bit and just move it one pixel over and then it should appear on here it's appearing and this this is actually going to be our graphic now head over to your shape graphic again to the material options and set the reflection intensity all the way to 100. that's the only thing that we will do for now because now we will bring in a light source go to layer new light set it to point light Okay, move it up just a little bit. So it's coming from above. That's about it. So we get this gradient here, this nice fall off. Now I want to bring in an environment layer. And since you can download this whole project file, it's this is coming with the project file. It's called environment HDR, bring it into your comp. Since the resolution is not the same, we want to scale it up. Since I have set up a 4K, a 4K composition, now just right click and set it to environment layer. 
because now our 3D object has something to actually reflect. And we just, we don't want to move anything around just yet because we're gonna need the controller for the hand and the shape because we want to move this together, okay? So bring in the layer, new, null object, call it controller. And now take the shape layer and the hand layer and pick whip that to the controller. This controller, of course, has to be 3D as well. So set it to 3D. And now let's go back to our single view. And now when we move this controller around, watch what happens. We're gonna see our nice 3D icon. And now you can, just like I did with my intro tutorial, you can just animate this and have this nice effect of a 3D mouse pointer clicking around in your presentation or composition. It's a nice little effect. You see these templates all over these stock platforms. Here, you get it for free. You don't have to do anything. I'm not, I don't want your email address. I don't want nothing from you. Just download this and have fun with it. So this is the mouse pointer 3D tutorial within After Effects without any plugins. If you learned something new, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider hitting the like button, which is going to help me big time promoting my tutorials. And other than that, I hope I will see you in the next tutorial.